Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Primark makeup haul. I've got some goodies stacked here to show you and I have got a new setup. Um, I hope you like it, it's a little bit messy but this is where I'm gonna be like filming from now on so let's get on with the makeup. So the makeup mainly that I'm gonna show you is from the Nudes collection, it has just been released. Um, I think they have been quite heavily inspired by the KKW like kind of line and her collab with Kylie because everything's got like that kind of really nudey kind of colour to it. So the first things I got to show you are the lipsticks. Now one thing about this collection that I found was really cool is that they have plastic wrapped everything from the eyeshadow palettes to the lipsticks, everything. So people can't just like you know swatch it in store as easily and they have to use the testers which is great because so many times I'll have gone to have a look at something in Primark just to check it's okay before I buy it and somebody's had their fingers in it so I was really chuffed that all these were you know fine I could just pick up them and they would be absolutely brilliant so I got these three lipsticks these were £1.50 and I have just swatched them here they are very nude some of these two are very similar but um i am actually wearing this one today this is called naked flame and i actually went on really well considering it's really matte it's actually felt quite creamy so this one is a naked flame and then i also got birthday suit and undercovered which are these two and they are kind of similar except like a slight little tone change but they are only one pound fifty so i thought i would pick those up and i quite like them so far so I just wanted to make a little point today before I go on that I wasn't planning on filming today so my eyes are not using any of the products I bought today. I'm actually using the Shanexo The Remix palette, mine is a little bit dirty but I know I've used the predominantly like the newer side because the older side or the other side is from, is like a repeat from her original palette but yeah it's just using the newer side and I followed like this tutorial that will get ready with me that she has just done so I will link that down below so yeah today's eyes are not Primark, they are BH Cosmetics, but these are really good. This is so such good quality and such better than all the other eyeshadow formulas. So yeah, really liking this. So the next two things I picked up were these Nudes Metallic Eye Cream Pots. So these are just a cream shadow. These were two pounds each, and I picked them up in the colour Daydream and Enchanted. They did have some like nude matte colours, but they're not for me. Um, I just didn't like the look of them, they were just a bit boring. So they are just like a little cream shadow, just looks like this. I mean, not my favourite kind of formula if I'm completely honest with you, just because I don't like anything that I have to use my fingers with. Um, I would prefer to use brushes, but you know, when I swatched them in store, because they had loads of testers out of everything, um, they were actually quite nice, so I thought I'd get them. Um, so this one is Daydream, and it's just like a nice pink colour that you could have used as a brow bone highlight, um, as like a shimmer colour on the lid, I couldn't even think that what the word, word was, uh, or in, as in a you know, corner highlight. And then this is the bronze colour which is enchanted and I'd say they were only £2 each. The only thing um, I don't particularly like with these is that the, the colour or the shade name is on the sticker price sticker. So if you lose that sticker it comes off, you don't know what the colour's called or if you, I nearly swapped the lids over when I was taking them like to swatch them. So they could have done with putting them like on the sticker on the bottom, that would have been good but for £2 it's, it's alright. The next thing I got was this Nudes palette, which was, I think it was four pounds. Um, I have to get my receipt out because they put the prices on the, like, the plastic that was on them. So that's come off when I've taken it off because there was so much plastic that I needed to take off. I wouldn't have been able to take it off on camera. So it just looks like this and this is really pretty. So this is like a matte highlight colour and then obviously a matte contour colour. You've got a matte blush and then you've got like either a blush topper or a highlight here which is shimmery and they look really pretty. The next thing I got was this nude eyeshadow palette. So this is the matte eyeshadow palette and this was £4 as well. So it comes with nine eyeshadows, just looks like this. So quite wearable everyday colours. They're all matte, um, no actually that's not right. That one's a shimmer, the rest of them are matte. I'm not going to do swatches of them now because I think it would make this video really long and I'm thinking of maybe doing like a look with either this so another eyeshadow palette that I'm going to show you. Um, eyeshadows from Primark usually hit and miss so I'm quite interested to see how these ones perform because some of them are really good like I've mentioned in other videos and some of them not so great but yeah this was only £4. 
I also got this eyeshadow palette. Now this is the Nudes eyeshadow collection. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get 24 shades in here and this was eight pounds so this one still has the price sticker on the back so it just looks like this really nice everyday wearable colors the kind of layout of these remind me of the big Lorac palettes um i don't know if anybody else thinks that but that's just what i thought of it and um, but i do like that it's got a clear window so you can see the shades when the palette is shut so that was eight pounds and yeah thinking of doing a video on this one or the other nudes palette so if you have a preference just leave me a comment down below and you know whichever one has the most i'll probably do that one i also got this lip kit now this has a pencil a lip pencil and a matte liquid lipstick this is in the shade thrill seeker there were four other shades of these lip kits um, so this one's a matte liquid lipstick and lip liner. They, there was other lip kits with a gloss, but I'm not much of a gloss person. Um, they did have like testers out of these, but to be honest, all the colours look pretty similar in the in the tubes. Like when I compared them all next to each other. So these are the swatches of them. And when I swatched the liquid lipstick on my hand, um, a little bit of like oil came out. So I'm not sure if that you know it needs a good shake before I was to first use it. But it's kind of smudged a little bit on my hand. I don't know if you can see it there. And I kind of feel like the pencil and the liquid lipstick are not a brilliant match for each other because the i don't know how well it's going to show up on camera but the pencil is more like a pinky rosy color whereas the liquid lipstick is more of a warm brown color so not the best to go together but they were only three pounds so i will give these a go i also got this nude matte and gloss collection and it just looks like this really pretty and this was six pounds and i had um, a bit of trouble getting into this because i do have um acrylic nails and they have like tape on either side of them so again really good for them that they've made it difficult to get into so no one can mess about with them while they're in store but you know i had to take a pair of scissors to them because i couldn't get into the product so this set comes with two lip creams a gloss and then a gloss which is kind of like really glittery which just looks like this which is kind of similar in my opinion to the lime crime what they call the diamond crushers like that kind of glittery effect and they just look like this and they are so pretty like look at how that that glittery one just sparkles and they are just lovely nude colors and the gloss color is this one like this kind of middle lighter shade and i can't i was you know i, I was sold just on that color because like it's an absolutely pretty really lovely color and yeah those other two are lip creams so not exactly a liquid lipstick but it will have more stain power than a gloss so this was six pounds and yeah real kkw vibes off this one so there were other things in the collection that i didn't get they were an all over body glitter but that's not really for me um they had um the like buffing kind of brushes that kkw has and they also had like a cream contour set and that's just not for me i don't like to cream contour because i'm quite oily and um, it just ends up going everywhere so i didn't pick those up so and they had some beauty blender sponges as well which were quite nude but i personally don't like primark beauty sponges i find them very stiff but they had other things in the collection like they even had um eyelash curlers like really random stuff but yeah the last thing I got was not from this collection, but I thought I would show it anyway, just like as in a haul. I got this amber palette, and I don't think this is as new. I think it has been around for a while, and it just looks like this, and it's really pretty, like kind of warm tones, um, sort of channeling the Naked Heat kind of palette, but it's... Um, it's got some berry tones in that the Naked Heat doesn't have. I wouldn't say it's like a, a full on dupe for it, but you know, if you couldn't afford the heat, you could buy this instead. Now this one was, let me consult my receipt. So this one was only four pounds and they do have a urban one, I think it was called, which is like darker kind of tones. And they had a berry palette as well. So also thinking about doing a video with this one. And yeah, it was only four pounds. So that was my Primark haul today. Um, if you got any of the items, um, give me a comment down below and tell me what you think because I'm quite interested to see what other people think of this collection. Will you be picking it up? Have you picked items up? So thanks for watching. I have done other similar videos that I will link down below or in the cards at the top. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and I'll see you again shortly. Bye.